Hi there everybody, this is the race engineer. Welcome to part 2 of the McPherson suspension design. In the previous part, I described the different components of the McPherson suspension. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the modeling process for the wheel set. The wheel set basically contains the tire and the wheel. Before we move on to modeling this tire, we need a reference size. The reference size I'm going to be choosing is 205 by 60 and a radius of rim 15 inches. This tire size is always printed on all the tires we see on cars. So 205 millimeters is the tread width. The 60 millimeters is the aspect ratio and the 15 inches is the radius of the rim size. So if we go back to the first step that I started this wheel with is a revolve feature that uses a sketch. The profile for the rim can be any profile of your choice. So in this particular case, I have chosen a random rim profile. This section is basically the central hole to which the axle will pass through. And this axis is for the holes for the lug bolts. This section, as I previously described, are the ribs where the tire will settle. This is the point where the steel beads pass inside the tire. So once we revolve this feature around this axis, we'll get a revolve feature like this. Then we move on. This cut extrude is basically for aesthetic purposes. You do not need to include this into your rim design. This cut is for the five holes for the lug bolts. If you look at the section, you can see these are just round circles which are repeated six times. This profile or any profile after you select the distance from the center and the diameter of the hole, you can use the circular sketch pattern to rotate this profile around a certain axis a number of times. For example, if I do this again, I'll see that whenever I click this profile first and then the circular sketch pattern, I'll see the axis or, or point if it's in 2D around which this profile will be patterned in a circular fashion. You select equal spacing you select the number of times you want to repeat it and then click OK. The last important feature is the tire itself. The profile of the tire is very particular to many tire profiles that we see. This profile is attached to the point where the ribs of the rim are located. This distance from the center is fundamentally the one that we described in the specifications earlier. You can also see clearly this, this profile of the tire, the one in the blue, is surrounded by the ribs of the rim profile. To add more aesthetics to your tire, you can include grooves. These grooves are basic rectangular sketches. You define the three rectangles or maybe more according to your choice and then you place them in the center then by using the feature revolve cut you can cut these profiles 360 degrees around the tire to include passages on the tread for water removal you need to add some extra profile on the top and then again use the feature circular pattern to make this pattern around the tire the number of times you want. The next part of this series I'm going to be showing you the modeling process for the lower control arm. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.